breaking news. According to the officials, there has been a finding of the MRSA bacteria in Sheboygan County. And then to Dr. Christensen with her findings about this outbreak. MRSA is a bacteria that is spread throughout having poor hand hygiene and not having clean surface like wrestling mats. People who are just fresh out of surgery are at risk too. Also, people who have been hospitalized for a long period of time are at risk. If you have these symptoms, fever, redness, swelling, drainage, pain, or it looks like a spider bite, or it is a boil, contact your health provider right away because you may have MRSA. I looked up my symptoms on Google, like all people do these days, and I found out that I was going to die. I have less than 24 hours to live. Thank you very much for that. Okay, everybody in the audience, just calm down. If we just calm down and listen, everything's going to be okay. Dr. Christensen, do you have any more info people need to know? Oh, um, yes, this is very serious. Along with the history of MRSA was found a long time ago in a 1960 study con conducted by British scientists. They found it was resistance to methicillin, which was not very good. People who live in East Asia are a bit more at risk than others due to high uses of antibiotics. People who have a weak immune system are very much at risk since they cannot fight off the, yeah. I just got out of surgery with big open wounds. My doctor said that bacteria got in them and big bumps started to form. They tried treating it, but nothing was working. That's the literal reason why I'm dying right now. All hope was lost when sending me home. I am now locked in a containment room. Thank you again for that very reassuring message, Mr. Kohlberg. And now to our lab technician, Dr. Cloud, to tell us more about the disease itself. Thank you. MRSA has a shape of staphylococci, which means it looks like this, like a bunch of grapes. <laughs> they're all clumped together, and so they're also gram-positive. For all you non-science folk out there, gram-positive means that it has a thick layer of peptoglycan. <laughs> which means it's easily susceptible to some antibiotics. But MRSA is a little strange. It, it's kind of resistant to just about everything. So if you have it, you better hope you get to a doctor in time because you're probably going to die. There's more info on my website. <laughs> Thank you for that. Now back to Dr. Christensen. Most of my patients are held in an isolation room and are excluded from contact with humans. Most people that are in isolation are looked after, so if they, t if they touch something, we can <clears throat> sanitize the area so that nobody else can get the bacteria and spread it. Well, now, uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It seems that Mr. Kohlberg has a question for Dr. Christensen. Hey, doctor, I was wondering if you could get MRSA transferred from an animal? Yes. It when you touch an animal, you will pick up its bacteria that it carries. Well, I guess. <coughs> Everyone, please, calm down. Dr. Christensen, please tell us you have more to talk about. Dr. Cloud. Please tell me you have something to talk about. Stay calm. Oh my god, it's spreading! Security! Security! Get everyone out of here! Get moving, everyone! 